Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a partner banner for the top of your YouTube channel and I'm also going to be showing you how you can add links to that. So this is what it's going to look like. It looks pretty good and I'm going to show you how to add the links to these here and maybe you could put on in, on here if you wanted. Anyway, let's get started so first you need to get the right canvas size so I'll just tell you what that is the width is 33.83 centimeters and the height is 6.03 centimeters so now what we're going to do is just go onto the gradient tool and click up here and just select the color you want and I'm just going to have this for this tutorial fading into um, black then hit OK and click and hold and then let go of it. That looks pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is add some text onto this. So to do this go into the text tool, select your font and I've downloaded this font called Counter Strike and I downloaded it from dafont.com and um you can get it for free so if you haven't already got it go and download it. So put the text size to about 72 and then just write your YouTube channel. And just bring it down a bit. And then we need to create a new text layer. I'm um, going to have it at 36. Oh, oops, sorry. <coughs> I need to click first and then do it. 36. Um, so put And you can scale this down, so I'll just do that. Ah. Have it to about there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just press Control and then click on the two text layers and then press G and then right click on it, go into Merge Group. And then right click on it again and go into blending options and um, what we're going to do now is just add our glowing effect out the side of there so we're going to have it like that drag the opacity to full uh, the range to full and size hmm, let's have it about two so that looks quite good and then I think I put a drop shadow on it. Yep. So I had a drop shadow as well. Just tick that and then hit OK. So now what we're going to do is create the um, things like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter buttons. So to do this, go over to the box tool and then go on the rounded rectangle tool and just get the size you want. So I'll have it about. Uh, how about that and you can have them whatever colours you want and don't try and do another boxes with um, going on that again because it won't look good and they won't be the right size so to get them exactly the right size right click on it and press duplicate layer ok then you'll have an exact copy of that. So I'm just going to do it again because I want another button. Duplicate layer, OK. So 
So I'm just going to drag them across. Make sure they're exactly level. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Now what we're going to do is add like a glow in outside the um, edge of the box. So to do this, right click and then go up to blending options. Select outer glow and just control plus to zoom in so we can get the same colours to, um, around the text. So just press that and get the eye drop tool and select the colour ok so control minus to zoom out so we can just see it um, bring the opacity up full and we're just going to leave the details like that so range 50% size at 5 because we don't want it to look like that Like we want it to be like a faded out edge so it's not rough and then hit OK. I'm just going to zoom out to see what that looks like. Yep, that looks pretty good. So now we're just going to repeat that with the other ones. So blending options, out of glow, control plus to zoom in. OK, bring the opacity up to 100% and then hit OK. Just going to do it one more time. Blending options, outer glow, that, control plus to zoom in, let's move across a bit. OK, opacity to 100% and then OK. And that's the box done. Now what we're going to do is put some text on. So click on the text tool and make sure the colour is white. And the font should be about, um, let's just see, that's oh, too small. Let's have about 14. Hmm. Make sure your layer text layer is dragged above the um, boxes. Too small. About 24. Uh, so have the text size at 24, and just type whatever you want to. So YouTube, and then go into the um, cursor and just move it. Okay. And then go into the next box and do the same. I'm just going to write Twitter. And then go into the cursor again and move it. Yep. And go into the text tool again and do it for this one. Uh, you might have to scale this down a bit, but I didn't because um, I thought it looked um, all right without it. That looks pretty good. Before it like looked strange and it was going outside the box, but for this, it hasn't. So now what we're going to do is put like a subscribe thing up here and put a cursor clicking on it. So to do this you can go into the internet and get a subscribe button. But I've already got one downloaded onto the computer. Here it is. So just drag it into Photoshop. Okay. And then hit enter. Um, what we need to do is get rid of the white box around the edges. So go into the wizard tool and just select the white bits of the edges and then press delete what sometimes it asks you uh, you meant to do before you can edit it is right click on the image and then click on rasterize layer and now it should let us um, delete that yep so press delete to get rid of it and just repeat that for the uh, steps around the edges
and then to deselect it is control deselect so control D and then go on to the cursor zoom out a bit and click, make sure the show transform controls is ticked and holding shift just bring down this a bit and drag it to where you want just gonna have it there and uh, now what we need to do is um, get a cursor so I haven't got one on my PC because I deleted it um, actually let me just check if I have no okay so I'm just gonna farm it off the internet So, okay, and uh, then go into the, your documents and find the cursor and drag it into Photoshop and then press enter. And then go into the wizard tool and um, press delete. Uh, we need to rasterize it again. I don't know why it makes you do this to be honest. It's annoying. Okay, then go into the wizard tool again, control D, and just get rid of all the white patches. Oops. That will do, and I'm just going to get rid of this one. Um, you can choose what curse you want. I'm actually just going to use, um, I'm not sure. I'll use the uh, hand one so I'll get rid of this one. So I'm just going to cut around the, um, cut off the white bits again. If you want to make it look really good, you'll have to like zoom in really far and just select that one pixel you want to get rid of. And then to deselect, it's Control D and then zoom out. And then go into the cursor tool and we're just going to move it over to where we want it. Oh, whoops, it's still got a little white line across the bottom. To get rid of that with the um, razor tool. Okay. Um, now we're just going to bring down the size because it's a bit too big. So holding shift and then drag this down. And just rotate it a bit so it looks good. And then hit enter. So now what we're going to do is make it like a bit more. 3D. So to do this, you right-click, blending options, and click a bevel and emboss. And as you see, that like makes it stand out more and makes it look 3D. And then hit <coughs> OK. Um, you can put a drop shadow on it. Uh, yeah, put a drop shadow on. So just tick it, and then hit OK. And I'm just going to repeat this for the subscribe button. So right click, blending options, drop shadow, yep, and um, a bevel and emboss, and that makes it look 3D. With this, you can mess around with um, uh, the depth and everything. So you can have it like that. That looks really 3D. But you can have it like that. Uh, I'm just gonna have the depth at 123 and then hit OK and you can put a glowing effect but I'm not going to so that's the part of the banner done but now I'm going to show you how to add links to the banner so go into your internet 
and go onto this website type in www.imagemaps-maps.com and it will bring you first uh, to uh, this page so press browse and find the banner and then press start mapping your image and it will take about 10 or so seconds to load and it's just giving us an example of what it will look like on there so that's pretty good continue to next step <clears throat> and then got the rectangle and then we just need to scale that to the right size and it's really good this program because once you've got um, that size it will carry on doing it so just put in your website here uh, so I'm just going to put youtube oops, youtube.com slash youtube kid 43 and just put channel and then press save as you see it will like flash up and just go into the rectangle tool again and as I said it's gone to the same size as that one and um, that's really good saves you redoing it each day each time and then got I'm just going to go into Twitter copy the link and then put it in here Twitter and save it rectangle again bring it over just going to make it a bit bigger for this I haven't actually got a Facebook thing at the moment, but I'm in the process of making one. So I'll just put facebook.com. Facebook. And then save. So now, once you're happy with all the links you've got, you just put um, get your code and select the output you want, and it's got the details on how to do it here. So that's it on this tutorial. Thank